hi guys uh you are welcome to my youtube channel uh today we'll be looking at how we can scalp volatility and five index on the lower time frames okay but before that we will need to start to, uh we need to look at what has happened on the higher time frame okay like i'm on the daily time frame and uh i can see that um the price of volatility and five index you know rose to an extent and then we now have a break of trend line the ascending trend line was broken around here okay we have this break of trend line and then we now have a retest uh we have a retest around here of the trend line and price is now dropping we have a break of the uh, uh of the structure we have a break of structure around here and price is dropping so after the break of structure we expect price to uh, continue to drop all right we expect price of volatility and five to continue to drop on the daily time frame so if, if it's gonna drop okay let's look at something like this so uh, we expect price to uh, go this direction okay and then stop for now at this level uh, 33 three six 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 okay before uh moving up to before moving up to test uh the initial uh support which you now turn to resistance and before it starts to drop again so but anything can happen instead of going down volatility 75 price could go up and then we now have a top top where we have a break of this structure around here for us to have a doctor anything can happen but that's the daily time frame uh, our major focus our main focus is to look at how we can scalp our v 5 on a smaller time frame let's also look at another high time at a higher time frame uh, that's the four hour time frame okay price of uh, volatility 75 uh index has been ranging for some time uh we had the uh upper range to be around this zone and then we have the lower range, uh, lower part of the range we are on this one now, which has been broken. That particular uh, range low was broken a while ago, was broken some couple of four hours back. And price is testing that particular area for now. So um, if price is going to move, we expect it to uh, possibly pop up a little bit to an extent before I expect price of uh, volatility 75 index to pop up to an extent before uh, dropping and then breaking uh, this low here. But that's the four hour time frame. Let's move quickly to uh, the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we can see a double bottom. Okay, our major concentration is to scalp uh, V75. We can see a double bottom breakout on the one hour time frame. So if you are going to scalp V75, look to scalp buy, look to buy for now, buy some few points and target this top. Okay, target this top. All right, so that's that on the one hour time frame. But on the same one hour time frame, we have a descending trend line. Let's look at our descending trend line. That might be where we place our stop loss. Okay, have our descending trend line around here. Okay, so uh, that, that might be where we place our take profit. I beg your pardon. So, price could test this descending trend line somewhere around here. Okay, before price starts to uh, drop further or possibly break out, break out of the descending trend line and then go up. But that's that for the one hour time frame. So, what we just noticed on the one hour time frame is the fact that we have a break of neckline for us to have a double. Uh, double bottom okay this is the first uh bottom and this is the second bottom so and when you see a double bottom pattern you know that price is going to go up you could go as high as the depth of one of the bottom which is something like this you could get to this high before it start to drop okay and it might not go that much i could just get to the midpoint and then start to drop okay all right, so this VIX, anything can happen. Okay, let's go to the 30 minutes time frame. Let's see what's happening. Of course, the double bottom is more elaborate, and the
buyers are in charge for now they have been able to break this structure around here for us to not have a higher high we have a high around here we have a high around here and we have a low we have this low around here we have a lower we have a, a lower high around here now we have a higher this is a higher low now we are having what we're now having is a higher high which is around here price is going up and as you can see on the screen price is still going up so let's look at the 15 minutes time frame on the 15 minutes time frame we can draw the trend line to see how far price might might go okay uh if it's gonna drop it will test this if price is gonna drop at this point to test this trend line and then continue to go up until it gets to this uh particular top i could get to three seven eight seven four seven area or it could get to uh three seven nine six seven seven six area but for now price is going up okay if you want to as far as this stretch is concerned if you want to find your stop loss you can measure this and then if you enter your trade your stop loss could be somewhere around here okay at that point since this day uh the noticeable drawback or pullback that you can see on this trade the stop loss could be as this expecting a similar pullback okay to be as this before price continue to go up so that's that for uh, the 30 minutes time frame uh, this other block is noticeable uh, this other block is noticeable on the 30 minutes time frame price is price might test it you know i test this other block and then drop okay because it's another block because it's the la this last candle going up and before we now have a trend okay and there is a level of inefficiency okay there's a level of inefficiency we got a wide level of inefficiency so we expect this to somehow be filled before it drops because price is going up for now so that's that for the 15 minutes time frame you can scalp buy for now look at look at what's going on on 15 minutes time and it continues to go up you can place a buy position and then scalp it off or scale it off at some point it keeps breaking it broke this high it also broke this high breaking structure on the five minutes time frame so look for scalping uh look to scalp buy on the one minute time frame what we have you can see price like an inverted head and shoulder around here uh, this is the left shoulder this is the head and this is the right shoulder okay and this is the neckline okay this is the neckline this is the neckline on the one minute time frame volatility 75 index and price broke the neckline and still going up okay so uh that's that look for buying opportunities for now if you are buying where do you place your stop loss uh where do you place your take profit your take profit could be somewhere around here okay that could be your take profit could be somewhere around here that could be your take profit okay so but if you are going to put your stop loss your stop loss sh might be somewhere around here uh, your stop loss might be somewhere around here your stop loss might be somewhere around here okay all right so that's that for uh how to scalp uh volatility and five index on the lower time frames for today uh, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel go ahead and click the subscribe button if you are yet to like this video click the like button if you like what you just uh saw if you have to drop comment, go ahead, drop comment, ask questions, try as much as possible to respond to your uh, comment or your question, okay? Uh, also, click the bell button below the video for notification. You can visit our website, www.bnfxplayer.com to learn more on how to trade volatility 75 index. You can also visit our website, fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade. So, I come your way tomorrow, it's bye for now.